Why does your cat sleep with you? What your cat's sleep spot reveals about your connection. You create cosy spaces, comfortable beds, and numerous corners for your cat to rest in, but it chooses your bed to nestle in. Why does it do that? Is it safe to go to sleep with your cat? And what does their exact location on your bed, your head, your feet, or your chest reveal about your bond with your feline friend? It's not just random, each position can reveal their feelings. Stay with me as I delve deeper and provide reasons for these and other questions in this video. Insight number one, safety. In an exciting study, researchers observed the resting habits of cats in homes with multiple pets and found that cats often choose resting spots based on the hierarchy of the pets. The dominant cat, or the one feeling more secure, often chose more open and vulnerable places, while less confident cats chose more concealed spots. However, when the owner was present, even the less confident cats felt comfortable resting in more open areas, emphasizing the security they feel with their humans. Nearby, did you know that cats have a unique third eyelid called the nictitating membrane? This thin cover can partially close while they are resting, allowing them to remain alert even when they seem relaxed or asleep. This is a clear indication of how vital the need for security is for them. They are always ready to react even during sleep. Your presence provides an extra level of security. Think about it. If you are calm and resting, it signals to your cat that everything is fine and there are no immediate threats. 2. Territory In many ways, our homes are divided into different areas. The kitchen is where we eat, the living room is where we relax, and the bedrooms are where we sleep. Cats see space a bit differently. Each part of your home is a piece of territory, much like land areas can be for humans. A cat's sense of territory is crucial for them from a young age. They learn about marking and understanding their surroundings. When they rub against furniture or your legs, they're not just being affectionate, they're leaving their scent behind, signaling that this place or person is familiar and belongs to them. Your bed is a privileged spot in the house. You spend a lot of time there and it carries your scent. So when your cat sleeps with you, they are blending their scent with yours. But beyond marking this, behavior also demonstrates a high level of comfort and trust that your cat wouldn't want to mark or claim territory in which they don't feel secure or comfortable. Number three, warmth. Cats are natural lovers of warmth. First, a cat's body temperature is slightly higher than ours, averaging around 10.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.6 degrees Celsius, making them naturally warmer than us. This means two things. They get cold more easily than us and are naturally drawn to heat sources to maintain their body temperature. They have an instinct to find the warmest spot in the area to rest. Researchers conducted a study on cats who preferred resting temperatures and provided surfaces with different temperatures to see where cats would choose to lie down. Most cats prefer warmer surfaces around 86 DKF or 30 degrees C, but it could be even higher, which is quite warm by human standards. Their bodies act as natural heaters for them when they sleep with you. They are enjoying the warmth you radiate. If you need your cat to rest in a specific location, perhaps to keep them away from furniture or certain areas, consider using a heated cat pad or blanket. They will likely be drawn to the warmth and may choose this new spot as a favorite. Four, bonding. Deep down, cats are more social than many people think. Kittens sleep together in heaps when they are very young. This is one of the first bonding behaviors they experience. So when your adult cat decides to sleep by your side, it's a reminder of that initial behavior. But how does this bond develop? It starts the moment you bring a cat into your home. Every time you feed them, play with them, or even have a quiet moment stroking their fur, you build trust. Over time, this trust deepens and your cat recognizes you as a vital part of their social circle. Another thing to consider is how wild cats behave when they can be solitary hunters. 
many wildcats form groups, especially females. These groups share hunting territories, care for their young, and rest together by sleeping with you. Your domestic cat is connecting to this natural behaviour and considering you part of their core group. Before we continue, I quickly ask you to subscribe to our channel, like the video and comment something about your furry friend. It helps the channel a lot. It's free for you and it allows me a lot. Thank you very much now. Let's continue with the video. Number 5. Where does your cat choose to sleep? Now let's delve deeper into the details of where your cat decides to nap when it's with you at your feet. It's a mix of independence and connection. They can quickly jump off the bed if they need, but they still want the comfort of knowing you're nearby for new or slightly more timid cats. This may be the preferred spot as they slowly get used to the idea of closer contact near your head. This is an incredibly intimate location. If your cat sleeps near your head, they definitely like you. It's warm there, but they also stay close to your face, hear your breathing and feel the rise and fall of your chest, which is reassuring for them. If your cat prefers this, you may encourage them to sleep there, providing closeness without inconvenience to your legs. It's a position that requires them to feel secure, as they can wedge themselves between your legs and the bed. Did you know that when a cat lies on you, they also absorb the warmth from your body? With large muscles, our legs generate a lot of heat, which can be a cosy source for them on your chest. This is the cat's primary residence. If your cat sleeps on your chest, it's the closest and most personal they can get. They can hear your heartbeat, feel your breath, and are under your nose. This position is all about trust and bonding. They are vulnerable but feel completely safe with you. Researchers observed the behaviours of shelter cats who were more likely to sleep near volunteers, especially near the chest area, and adapted more quickly to new homes when adopted. This was seen as a vital sign of trust and adaptability. Now, I have a pressing question. Is it safe to sleep with your cat? First and foremost, most of the time, the answer is yes. Studies have shown that a cat's purring can reduce stress and anxiety. The gentle and rhythmic sound of purring is comforting and can help some people sleep better. In this sense, having a cat in bed can be a good thing. Here's an interesting fact. Cats have a specific purring frequency between 25 and 158 that is known to be medically therapeutic and can promote healing in bones and tissues. But another thing to consider is the sleep cycle. Humans and cats have different sleep patterns. While we tend to sleep for a single long period, cats are more sporadic. They are crepuscular, meaning they are more active during dawn and dusk, so don't be surprised if your cat decides to play at 4 in the morning if you are a light sleeper or can't tolerate interruptions. Having a cat in bed may not be ideal. Let's also address allergies. If you are allergic to cat fur and are aware of it, it's better to keep the cat out of the sleeping area. Keeping the bedroom door closed or creating a cosy corner for the cat elsewhere can ensure you and your cat have a good night's sleep. Finally, it's essential to mention that while most people reported improved sleep when sharing the bed with their pets, some said it caused minor disruptions, mainly due to the animal's movement in bed, taking up space or, in some cases, snoring. Have you ever wondered if your cat likes you? In the video on the screen, I talk about 15 signs of cat love that will surprise you so you can be sure that your cat loves you very much. Please subscribe as we post on this channel frequently. Thank you very much for watching.